So I was sitting down asking Holy Spirit about what to talk about today on the live video and the topic of Luke 4 came up. So I really want to dive in on this today for you guys just on how this applies to weight loss, your health and uh, in just such a powerful way. And, you know, this parable can be um, or this this uh, this story of the life of Jesus can be applied into, you know, your life in so many areas. But today on this video, I'm going to be specifically talking to people who are going through a journey right now to where a big focus in your health is uh, weight loss, right? Just taking care of your temple, moving the scale in a different direction and uh, just simply feeling better, right? Living a life where you just feel uh, energetic and really good. So if you guys are watching today, as we dive into Luke chapter four, go ahead and just drop a hashtag live if you're here with me right now while I'm talking. And if you're watching on the replay, I love seeing when you guys watch these. So just drop a hashtag replay down there in the comments. So Luke chapter four is one of my favorite scriptures. Um, not just because I'm a fasting guy, but that's a big part about it because I studied it so many different times just to uh, understand how fasting worked, especially in the new covenant um, with Jesus, right? What's up, Ryan? Happy to see you here, dude. So when it comes to uh, Luke chapter four, Holy Spirit leads Jesus into the wilderness to be challenged and to be tested by the devil. And where this starts to apply right away within a lot of our weight loss journeys is, you know, Holy Spirit is going to lead you to the promised land in your health, meaning you're going to have energy abundant, meaning you're going to be able to play with your kids as much and as often as you want to. And those injuries you have are going to start to uh, feel like they never happened. But through that journey, as you walk into the promised land, you're probably going to have to walk through some wilderness, right? And there's going to be some challenges from Satan, from the devil that come along throughout this path. And that's actually a good thing. It teaches you to lean on Holy Spirit more and trust that you're going in the right direction. Because you see here, Jesus, you know, and this is where the Trinity starts to get a little bit tricky to talk about because like he is Holy Spirit, he is God, but Holy Spirit's a little bit different than Jesus, you know. Um, they are all one um, and they are all unique as well too. But as Jesus walks into the wilderness, he trusts God that this is where he's supposed to go, even though he's having a lot of challenges. And when you're going through your weight loss journey and you're facing a lot of challenges, um, for instance, you know, within my coaching program, Weight Loss Blueprints, where I teach people how to be able to lose weight with biblical principles and also give them a really stinking awesome workout plan uh, along with that. We got some people who are saying, hey, I'm losing inches, but I'm not really losing pounds or, um, you know, that was one thing that came up this week, right? Was what happens like if the scale is not going down? Well, for some of us, that's going to be our first challenge in the wilderness when we go through uh, weight loss. The very first thing is you're going to be doing all of the right things, but the scale is not moving in the direction that you want to, Right. So with that, we can learn from Jesus here as he was tested uh, so many trials uh, from the devil in the wilderness. He was able to just walk through each one and know that he was going in the right direction. Even when Satan promised him the world, right, which the weight loss equivalent would be, even though someone promises you that you could drop 50 pounds in a month and keep it off for good and not have any stretch marks or loose skin or anything like that. You know, you have to know that you're on the right path and that God is guiding you with, um, you know, the plan that you're already following in your weight loss. Um, and that's that's also making sure that you're following a plan that actually works. And this is why it's important to, you know, get the help from a professional or apply methods that have worked for countless amounts of people because there are bad plans out there. It's important to know that you're on a, a good plan. But when you're going through weight loss and you know you're on a solid plan, you're working with a coach or you're following a plan that you got from somebody who's really qualified, um, guys, sometimes the scale's not going to go down. And sometimes you're going to get mad about that. And sometimes your biggest challenge is going to be, hey, I want to quit. I want to leave the wilderness. I want to get to the promised land already. I want that reward. But one thing we can learn from the life of Jesus is that even when these challenges come up, he kept moving forward. 
And when he kept moving forward, there had to be new challenges coming up because the devil saw that, hey, this man's not really fallen for it. So, you know, you just got to keep moving forward, even when you're struggling in your weight loss and, and just stick with the plan you guys are following. If you're already seeing results in weight loss, like don't stop what you're doing when you get to two weeks to where the scale doesn't move in the direction you want to. This is the time when it's so important to ground yourself in patience, in trust, and know that if you just stick with what you're sticking with, you're going to be healthier. You're going to breathe better, right? If your plan just calls you to exercise, eat clean, like, and drink more water, that right there is automatically going to make you healthier. So why would you want to go back? Right? Why would you want to stop that? If you if your plan calls you to eat healthy, exercise, drink water, but you're not seeing results on the scale, guys, like sometimes you just gotta trust the stinking process and say, hey, well, these actions I'm taking right now, I know they're uh, glorifying God in my body, right? Like we talked about that yesterday on the video. <laughs> What's up, Joshua? What's happy to see you, Josh? I don't know why I called you Joshua. I never call you Joshua. I think it's because your your full name here on Facebook says Joshua. But happy to see you here, dude. So if you guys are trying to lose weight, it could be 10 pounds, could be 15, could be 100 pounds, right? Whatever that might be, you got to trust it even when it gets sticky, right? Even when the actions you're taking, it's like you feel like they're not working. If you're following the right plan, if you're following a plan made by a professional who knows what they're doing, or you picked up something and, and you know it's good, like in your heart of hearts, like Holy Spirit's telling you like, hey, this is a good plan. You just need to stick with it. Don't let yourself fall off the bandwagon just because the scale's not moving. Okay, this is some hard lessons here, but sometimes you just gotta keep going forward. You just gotta keep pushing, right? Jericho, they told them in Jericho this, the city walls would fall, you know, but they had to circle it, what was it, seven times to make it happen? So sometimes you gotta do the same thing on repeat multiple times over and over and over to get the result that you want, guys. So I just wanted to apply this quick lesson with you guys where you're at right now in weight loss. If you're struggling to lose weight and it's just not working for you, but you're following a good plan, like just run with it. Keep at it. Don't give up on it. And you'll see in a couple of weeks that breakthroughs start to come. And guys, if you're watching this and you're like, well, I think I'm struggling, but my plan actually sucks or I don't know what I'm doing, uh, then, hey, I'd love to give you a plan for weight loss that actually works. Like I mentioned earlier, I got a program, Weight Loss Blueprints. It's twelve fifty a week. You guys can join. Cancel anytime. But uh, it gives you a foundation for how to be able to lose weight with biblical principles. It works. You guys see my testimonials that I post in my stories and here on Facebook. Uh, people are seeing great results with it. So you know it'll get you where you need to go. And if you just want to automate that and um, have some support there, you know, just drop down below in the comments, me, uh, all caps, and I'll just reach out to you personally. We'll get you an invitation in there and get you rolling. So that way, this time next week, you'll be moving and grooving your body in all the best ways and connecting deeper with Christ throughout that process as well too with the program that's founded on our love for him. So um, yeah, drop that down below if you wanna hop on in guys, but I hope this video was helpful for you. And if you have any questions, shoot them on over in a message and I'd love to make a video about it, y'all. All right guys, stay tuned for more videos. I'll see you soon.